collectors, today we're going to look at something from the NECA vault. This is Aliens, Scorpion Alien, with the bendable tail. Now, as you can see here, we have a different style wrapping that we normally don't see on the Aliens. This is harking back to the days when NECA, or the Aliens, first came out with the toys. So here we can see the NECA line for Aliens. Then we have the Predators. Then we have more Predators. And you can see the data file here for the Scorpion Alien. And last but not least, Alien vs. Predator. So if I bring in my scale, we can see this guy is coming in at... 10.8 ounces. So let's get Scorpion Alien off the scale and out of the package. Okay, now that we've got him out of the package, we can see this is a rather tall figure. If I bring in my scale and let him fall over, we see that he's coming in right at nine and a half inches. And he's also pretty long on the shelf. I'm measuring nine inches from tail up here you can move this tail if you want to it is a bendable tail so it depends on how much shelf space you have but it is totally up to you now the tail can rotate around as well as bend so you do have a little bit more options now here is the scorpion part that we were talking about when we say his name Very nice. So if I look at this guy, pull it up a little bit closer here, we can see we've got this alien looking face, as with all the xenomorphs. And whenever you pull out the mouth, you get the tongue. Put that back in there. Now his head can rotate around but be careful there's these little hoses that go to the back they do attach via the mouth plate here now you also have this portion here that does pop off so just be aware and it's just a simple peg that you can push back in if you so desire or if it's bothering you, you can just take it out. The choice is yours. So if we look at his articulation, we can get this arm up here to a nice T-pose. We have a single bend in this elbow type device here. You can see one in here and one in there that connects. But it is on a hinge. And it's on a hinge here. So it's like a double elbow. You just have to rotate it just right to get it to work. Now his wrists are on a ball so a ball jointed hinge. And his ab crunch here. We can see how good it's gotten. And it does allow for side to side rocker motion. As far as the splits go, this guy can do a pretty good Van Damme split. Forward and back, he's got some really good range. There is no thigh swivel. As a normal sense, it is on the ball here, right above the leg. So you do get a lot of movement there. Now he does have this bend also here in the knee, as well as a single bend in the knee to allow it almost a second almost like the normal McFarland double bend so it's very nice there and depends on how much you want to have your alien crouch to use that effect now his ankles are on a ball jointed swivel here so you can see it is going around 
and he does have a peg hole in the very back of his ankle. He does have toe bends as well. So if we get this guy standing up, we can see he does look pretty menacing. And if you want to bring in a multiverse figure for a comparison, here you can definitely see how much taller they are and imposing. And here is a Marvel Legends figure just for scale's sake. So like I say, I got this at the NECA Vault. The NECA Vault has now officially ended. So if you're looking for this guy, you can either find him at Target or other places like Amazon. So until next time, remember, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.